Gene Simmons. <laughs> and Gene Simmons replied, I never did anything of that sort. <laughs> uh, he was charged with assault, possession, and mischief. He's scheduled to appear in court. Uh, he actually was uh, scheduled to appear in court today. So we're crossing our fingers, uh, Sebastian Buck. Hopefully we, he'll they'll deport and maybe keep him up there for a while. The yeah. Yeah, I think he needs uh, a little time up and get that fresh Canadian air. <laughs> I think he's definitely earned that right. I mean, force him to listen to Celine Dion and Brian Adams for. <laughs> well, the thing is, that goof will probably dance around to and start singing it. <laughs> I gotta record an album of these guys. <laughs> I'm just gonna start talking like that the whole time when people come up to me. I'm in my Sebastian Bach mode. I'm gonna bite your left hand. Very <laughs> and gentlemanly. All right, we. Uh, you guys want to get into a, another wacky, uh, fun, and fact-filled <laughs> journey, courtesy of uh, Sugar Sean Slauson. Yes, indeed, it's time for the DVD review. Oh, yeah. Where's my theme song? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Jeez. Come on, I want to hear the... A little tight on the budget this I want to hear the Goonies theme song okay, while hold I do on, this. Hold on, hold on, hold <laughs> on. I'm the best ever. Does that work? <laughs> <laughs> here, 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 hold on, hold on. Uh, I'm going to try to find something here. I'm just... Just hold your horses. Oh, we're holding them. Oh, man. I really don't have anything for you. I really don't have anything Not for you. Not even the theme to Mr. Rogers? I mean, anything will one? work. <laughs> no. <laughs> but oh. nobody died. Nobody died today. Well, you wanted a theme. Okay, we'll cut that out. Okay. <laughs> Is that Hulk Hogan? Yeah. <laughs> okay, oh, yeah. okay, okay. My last one. I, I'm not going to go to the well any further because I think I nailed it here. I think I nailed it. And I just want you to be quiet. Just Here we go. Sugar Sean's DVD of the week intro music. Just like Chuck Sam, <laughs> oh, baby, Holy moly. Sexual chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mark Henry? <laughs> <laughs> so close. Yeah. All right, it's time for the DVD <laughs> roundup, courtesy of Sugar Sean Slauson. Oh, goodness. Oh, you, you love it. Brought to you by Soul Glow. When, when you brought up that sexual chocolate reference, I was thinking of old school Raw last night. Yeah, anyway. you're thinking Monday Night Raw. We're thinking <laughs> coming to America, dog. That's oh, right. Goodness. A little generation gap there. I think so. A widening, widening chapter. <laughs> well, yes, sexual we, chocolate. We got, we got more DVDs re- released. You know, as everyone knows. Wait, they're not just going to shut down the business. No, of course not. Not while we're doing this, anyway. <laughs> Are they going to move releases to Monday? <laughs> well, you figure, you figure they'd they do, do it in Europe. Year. You figured oh, they yeah. do it. You figured they do it at the end of the week. I don't know why they do it on a Tuesday, but anyway, oh, they do it so the uh, the reps can harass people and whatnot, music and DVDs. And, mm-hmm. yeah. I don't know. Tuesday is just an odd day to me. I don't know. It just uh, when they when they have release days on a Tuesday, I just figure, well, why not wait till the weekend? You know, when people yeah. are more free. But anyway, what are you talking about, fool? Exactly. Uh, November sixteenth today, which that's today's day. All obviously. day long. Yeah, all day long. Hold up. <laughs> When I say, who's the master, you say, show enough. Maybe we got a new nickname, show enough, sugar, show enough. Was that from No Holds Barred or what? (laughs) Class Dragon, dog. (laughs) I'm sorry. Anyway, so for DVDs and Blu-rays, because the last time, you know, last time we went a little too long. Kind of made us drowsy. Yeah. Yeah. Hit it, hit it. To a point where we didn't get a chance to finish what, what I was going to say them. before. Yeah. <laughs> so what I did was this time is I shortened it up a little bit. I just shortened it up. I, we're going to just talk about what's what's being released today. And if you guys have any opinions about that, please Hit let me, me know. Hit me with your best shot. Yeah. Lay it on me, brother. So what's coming out this week, you might be asking, Frankie? Or well, Sean yeah, or Sugar cut, Sean or whatever. Don't call yourself Frankie <laughs> on this show. Sugar Sean, whatever you want to call Sugar me. Sugar Sean, show enough slow. Trust me, I've been called worse. But anyway. Uh, what's coming out this week on DVD and Blu-ray? Woo. We got Avatar, the three-disc extended collector's edition. Well, that's for people with too much money and time on their hands. Yeah, and you know they're gonna charge like thirty, forty dollars for something like this because I know I Blu-ray is more expensive. Yeah. I like Jurassic Park. Yeah, and I have never seen Avatar. I heard it's a good film, but I, I don't know. I haven't really seen it yet. So rent it. Rent it. Try as it far, out. As far as the music to fall or movie to fall asleep. As to far it. as buying it though. Uh uh-uh, uh brother. <laughs> <laughs> what else is coming out on DVD and Blu-ray this week? It's Disney's A Christmas Carol with Jim Carrey. What you talking about? <laughs> Jim Carrey in another Disney film. Now he was a, the Grinch a few years ago. Now he's you know Scrooge. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Yeah, it works. Whatever you know, he can do it. 
What else is coming out? The Last Airbender, the two-disc Blu-ray DVD combo plus digital copy. Ah, oh, God. Looks <laughs> like I picked the wrong week to quit amphetamines. <laughs> <laughs> but this one, what's, what's uh, coming out today, or what already came out today, I guess, uh, courtesy of Amazon.com, is something that you guys might like. Two two things anyway. All right. The Perry off. Mason season five volume. Oh, two. now you now you because there's a inter, there's a generation gap. You're thinking that we're that old. I think that's kind <laughs> of a no no no. I, I figure you would appreciate it because Perry Mason. Jeez. Uh, I must break you. All right, Sylvester Stallone finally. Holy moly. Yeah. <laughs> no no no. <laughs> Come on, ow, let's do this. Come on, I want to hear some Cobra. I want you to get back to this DVD <laughs> review yeah. before Blind Dog falls asleep. And then the last one that's coming out that I picked it. Because well, there's a lot of stuff coming out today, but I, you know, that, that'd be a whole oh, book full. Yeah, yeah. Neon Knights, 30 Years of Heaven and Hell, live at Waken. What the hell are you thinking? So is it Waken or is it something else that well, I was thinking? Whacking. <laughs> whacking. <laughs> whacking, waking, shaking, bacon, whatever you got in. Must be a European tour thing or something, a town in, in Europe or something. you got to grow up. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Phil, thank you for that information. And, of course, uh, so, <gasps> that's, so that's what's coming out this week, <laughs> November 16th, 2010, Tuesday, anyway. Oh, yeah. Excla Rent them up. So now. Exclamation point. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I guess now we go into one segue and to another uh, with the DVDs uh, re being released and Blu-rays. Now it's time for Frankie's, p or for Sean, I guess I got something. You got to quit Frankie. saying that, man. Sugar Sean's pick of the week. Hey, you got to quit. tattoo it right on you. Yeah, you got to <laughs> say that. You got to quit saying that. If you make me come up with this, you'll be sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so you're probably wondering, Frankie, boy, I don't know. Uh, Sean, you're probably wondering, what is my current pick? Of the week for uh, 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 mermaid film that's uh, and, and these films did, did go you did with you make that trip that uh, Blind Dog recommended to get a certain film you have to be a certain age to watch uh, yeah I'm talking about the adult reviews yeah oh, we, we don't do that here in the states we gotta well, be you clean can. cut you know well, I mean most of them are on those I videos. can come up with some titles for you that'd be kind of funny <laughs> you know? aye aye Admiral Butthead <laughs> <laughs> but anyway so. The current pick can be anywhere between the last, I figure, the last five years or so, because you know, a movie to add to your collection. Uh, cla yes. Classic, more is within the last ten, twenty years, I think. But for my current pick, I picked Superbad from two thousand seven. Not a bad flick. You're starting to get us. You're starting to warm, uh, warm to us. Well, I, I fell in love with Superbad. I, I really, you know, I'm just a comedy snob. You know, when it comes a to that. A comedy snob. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Because there are movies in this genre that yes, indeed, lovey, lovey. many think are funny, <laughs> but are just tired uh -oh. and unoriginal. I hear what you're saying. And this movie has a great cast, great timing, and great writing. Laugh out loud funny. And there are, and pretty much to sum it up, there's good dirty and bad dirty. There's good silly and bad silly. And overall, this is just a great all-around film. And I recommend it. For the classic pick, we're going back 20 years, not... 1990. We're going back 20 years to the release of Superbad. It was released in 2007, so we're going back to 1987. 1987. Okay. Yes, well, you, that's you, it. Yeah, you, you started to lose <laughs> me you there for a second. You look confused anyway. Yeah, what, what, what the hell so what that? would be a proper pick for 1987? That you know, oh, any big God. movies that came I'm out. I'm already that time? feeling. I'm already <laughs> feeling the dread here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I picked planes, trains, and automobiles, and and why? Well, when I think of planes, trains, and automobiles, I smile. It is an absolutely wonderful movie. Yes, it is regarded as a comedy, but when I think of it, I think of it as more of a drama. The jokes don't He's get old. He's looking at it from the dramatic angle. Exactly, you are sugar, the, Sean. The jokes, showing up sloppy. The, the jokes don't get old. I mean, this is probably well, good movie. my favorite comedy of all time. And John Hughes takes the Pick traveling sticks with your butt cheeks. John Hughes takes the uh, <laughs> traveling nightmare genre to a whole new level. It's more of a triumphant in script writing than anything else. Mm. I mean, if you're going to compare it to anything, I guess you can compare it to the, the movie Due Date. I know a lot of people have been saying that the movie Due Date that just came out with uh, Robert Downey Jr. and Zach Galifianakis uh, is almost like a, a remake of Plain Sands and Automobiles. So there you have it, folks. That's Frank or Sean, Sugar Sean. Yeah, see, oh, you said it again. Current and classic yeah. pick oh, of the week. I, are pillows. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I, 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 I got to be. Here's, you know. here's what I got to say. We got to recharge your brave.